Okay, so guys, we're on page 16B. Now, on 16B, this helps us go over all the different possible scenarios. So this is a great review. Let's look at number one. Now, I want you to see here that we have a place where we're going to do our work and then we have a place for the final answer. So the final answer goes on the second graph. The first graph is just a place for us to show our work. Okay. Now for number one, if we end up with X is greater than four and X is less than nine, I put my critical points here, I put four here, I put nine here. Now I wanna show you something. Did I spend any time counting from four to nine? I did not, because I don't want you to waste your time. When you graph this, the only way you can get it wrong as far as spacing goes is putting nine here and four here. Who can tell me why that's wrong? Dia? Because nine is like greater than four. Right. So it should. Right. So that's what I'm looking for. Do not waste your time and show me that you know that if this is four, I have to count five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't care about that, okay? Just put two places, a four and a nine, boom, boom, right? It's greater than four, but less than nine. I don't fill in the dots, I just fill in everything in between. So for this particular one, my final answer would be X is in between four and nine, and my final graph looks like my work graph. Because I thought about it, and that is correct. Okay. Now for number two, X, I have a three and a six. Again, notice I did not count between three and six because I don't care. X is less than three, but greater than or equal to six. Now this is my work graph. This is my work graph because this is an and inequality. And my answer is gonna be where the two overlap. Where do my two graphs overlap? Dylan? Nowhere. Nowhere. They do not overlap. So my final answer is no solution and I don't put anything on my number line because there is no solution. There is no number that is greater than or equal to six while at the same time being less than three. There's no solution. Okay, number three. X is greater than two and X is greater than seven. So my work graph will say greater than two and greater than seven. Because this is and, my final answer has to be where the two overlap. Where do these two overlap, Dylan? seven. So my final answer is X is greater than seven. And my final graph just looks like this. If you left that as your answer, you would get marked wrong. Because if you left that as your answer, you're indicating to me you don't really understand what that means. Everybody get that? Okay. Now, let's go to the bottom half.
Okay, so this is <clears throat> the OR inequalities. And the first one says X is less than negative five or greater than one. So on my work graph, I put negative five and one, less than negative five, greater than one. And my final answer is exactly the same. I have to include the word or. And I don't have to overlap with an or inequality. Now, for number five, this is x is less than one. Whoops, I'm gonna redo that because I should have looked at my numbers first. I have a negative three, which should go to the left of one, okay? x is less than one, but greater than negative three. Now, do I just include the overlap? Do I just include negative three to one? No, because an or inequality says you should include everything. So when I draw my answer, anything that's on this graph, must be included on this graph. So when I draw this graph, what does it suggest my solution is? Anybody? Dia? All real numbers. All real numbers because the graph is completely filled in. Now, everybody do this. See how my arms overlap? And we go all real numbers, all real numbers. Everybody do this. Overlap your arms and make your hands flash. That flash is all real numbers, all real numbers, all real numbers, okay? Now, the next one says, X is greater than four and X is greater than nine. That's greater than four, that's greater than nine. Now, if this was an and, we would just include where they overlapped, but we know or is more, or is more. So what, am I going to include for my answer on this one? Andi? X is greater than four. Exactly. X is greater than four because or is more. And if you wrote this as your final answer, you would lose points because or is more. And we want to include the one that includes everything. 